What's up, badass Black Desert Mobile fans? Our favorite day is here, patch day. We got some new goodies, red crystals, Tower of Trials has been updated, they added some new events, the Termian event is back. I'm gonna cover all that in this video, but before I do, I wanna draw your attention to a community Discord. I will link them in the description down below. They have a bunch of community tournaments, like a randomness, which just has a bunch of different people pitted together. It's super fun, go ahead and check them out. And with that being said, Let's dive right in. All right, so for the patch notes up first, we got a world boss, a new one, Enraged Beg, uh, is now live. The world boss will spawn every Sunday at 2000 to 2200. He can be found in northern plains of Serendia. You did your character level does have to be 45 and above in order to enter. Red crystals are here. They do have higher uh, stats and branch damages. Abyssal crystals can be obtained at the certain at a certain rate through the crystal fusion by going to your black spirits. So that's the only way to get them. They added Temple of the Sun. Temple of the Sun, you can enter. It is it's only going to come July 25th and July 26th. In this event, only a limited number of people can enter the chamber in the Temple of Sun. When you enter the chamber, you can make offerings of silver to receive rewards. When making offerings with silver, the item that you receive as rewards will uh, be from the normal list of items with a chance of receiving an item from the best item list. And there is abyssal stuff up there. There's a limit to the number of people that can enter one chamber in the Temple of Ancients. However, the chamber will remain available until the best rewards have been claimed. The event schedule and conditions are subject to change. You can see the dates and times for those. So they're only going to be open for two days. There's going to be four different sessions, so 14 and then 1450, and then 2200 and 2215. Each chamber in the Temple of the Sun will have a limited number of spots available for participate participants. Participating in this event within a safe zone is recommended. Having at least 15 inventory slots available is also recommended. Make sure to check your inventory space. It's also not recommended to be auto farming while inside. Guild Rush Season 2, so they updated the Guild of Boss Rushes. The new season will bring about an increase in the Guild Rush bosses, as well as their attack, increase in their attack and their attack and defense power. And they also drop a higher grade reward. The number of summoning stones required for the Guild Rush has been changed to 5, and the rewards have been increased to match this as well. One thing they did add is they added a function where the more members that are inside, the better the rewards are going to be. Abyssal Shakatu has been added during the event period. The chances of acquiring Abyssal gear at the Shakatu shop has been increased. I rolled like 70,000 coins already so far just to check it out. I didn't get anything good. There's an acquisition rate up event for certain Abyssal Alchemy Stones. So the acquisition rates of Alchemy Stones has been increased for some. My guess is it's going to be all the red ones except for the Sushi one. Uh, to get everybody's hopes up to try to get the Sushi. It's probably not on that one specifically. They added uh, accessory resonance, so they knew a new grade bonus from ninth resonance has been added to accessory. It's just the red one. They added three new uh, accessory resonance, and you have to have uh, two, four, or five red accessories. Tower trials updated. The maximum number of floors has been updated, and how many people can go inside. They updated to 60 floors, and you can now take five people inside. A new event has also started where clearing the Tower of Trials will grant increased experience. You can see that when you go inside and you dispatch your uh, characters. As far as some updated for quests, they changed the rewards given by some NPCs for completing their Amity quests so that the rewards will be contained in chests. The content of the rewards have not been changed. Nodes and Siege Wars, pay attention. They started an event that grants 50% bon guild bonuses on Node and Siege Wars. Alchemy Stones, they changed the description for the Brave Stone of the Conqueror, so that is more clear. For the world map, they removed the need for passes when accessing certain regions in the map. For the camp, they fixed an issue in the camp, the blacksmith, where the effects were not appearing correctly in the results window when exchanging materials. For growth, <laughs> apparently they realized everybody was leveling up pretty slow here because they lowered the experience required from level 71 to 75. The amount of experience needed to reach these levels has been lowered. The current total experience percentage will not change from this adjustment. The following, the following rewards have been prepared to compensate players for this change. 
Players with the character level 70 or above will get uh, three nine hours of 300% hot time on July 21st to the 27th. So I'm not sure if that's every day. Bugs and fixes for the arena. They fixed an issue where the section displaying the season of rewards was cutting off. Fixed an issue where the rankings were not being displayed correctly in the ranking season of rewards screen for some players. And they fixed an issue in promotion matches where the season ending rewards text was cut off. We did get one class buff, I guess you could say, for the Valkyrie. Improved the class skills so that the Sword of Judgment can be used as a follow-up attack immediately after stabbing with Shield Chase. Sounds like a nice combo they added there. For some additional notices, uh, best missions for new Return and Adventures event. Discovered an issue uh, two weeks ago in the patch. Rewards containing the comp uh, completion rewards for the 14-day event. We got this event. I have this event right now. Mo uh, some people had it two weeks ago. Some people are getting it right now. That event is currently going on. New events. They added the Temple of Sun I talked about. Termian. They added a Harawen special mission and beat the Summer Heat event. I, I will cover those in the game. As far as the Talus Shop... I am going to cover the in, in the Talus shop. All right, let's take a look at the cash shop, what they gave us. So they gave us a pearls plus crystals chest. It's going to cost probably like 10 bucks. Gives you 400 pearls, 100 black pearls, mystical crystal excess or mystical crystal chest times five. There's also one that gives 1,000 pearls, 1,500 black or 1,000 pearls, 500 black pearls, and then 30 times mystical crystal chest. That one's probably 30 bucks. There's a mystical crystal package for one. It costs 500 black pearls and you get five mystical crystal chests. And you have the chance on the third purchase to obtain a mystical slash crystal uh, chest. They also have it for 900 pearls where you can do it times 10 and then for one once you purchase three. You want to make sure you pay attention to those. I'll talk about those in a second. Etheria Marine, they did add a new outfit. Uh, they also added a new pet. They're the same price as 960 white pearls and 400 uh, black pearls. And that's not, or 400 pearls for the parrot. They added magic residue where you can purchase 500 black pearls, gets you 3,000 residue. And then 500 black pearls gets you 5,000 essence. Last thing I have for you guys before we go over the, over the events in the game is the uh, update to the sun. Now they didn't tell us how to participate so there's a little bit more info in here for the temple of sun when a chamber in the temple of sun opens a server wide three minute waiting period uh will be sent out this is triggers a three minute wait waiting period as well it does send out a server wide message when the three minute time ends you can enter the chamber by tapping on the sun icon beside the mini map entry on the first come first serve basis once you enter the temple of sun you can check the following for each chamber the best rewards, the fee per offering, the number of participants, and the closing time. Every time you tap on the offering button, you will make an offering of a specified amount of silver and you will receive one of the item rewards at random. Tap and hold the offering button to start auto offering. A message that states auto offering has been enabled and will appear once the function has been enabled. All of the adventurers in the chamber will be making offerings at the same time. Thus, certain rewards may run out depending on the rewards obtained. You will be kicked out of the chamber if you do not make an offering for 30 seconds. You may not be able to enter the chamber again if the chamber is full. The chamber of the Temple Sun will be open for two hours, but the chamber will close early if all rewards have been claimed. Please check the following conditions to enter the Temple of the Sun and those I already covered. All right, let's check out the events in the game. Up first, we're going to take a look at the events. Uh, they did fix the chest, the outfit chest for the Amazon event. I was able to open up mine. And the light stones are supposed to come at 1600. Hopefully, there is no issue with those. There is a best missions for new and returning adventures. So, this is the event some of you guys got two weeks ago. The rest of us are got now. It does go for 49 days, you can see in the top left up there. So, we're going to be able to complete that with a lot of extra time. There is a new, the Termian Pirate Island. So Termian is back. We got it one time before. You can go inside. You can do one mission, that mission every day. You get all of these rewards. So you get them all. It's not just one. You get all of them. The biggest thing there is the magical essence. That is a hard stuff to come by. Uh, so you do get a thousand of that every day. That event is going for two weeks. And there is the Cox Pirates inside of here that spawn at 1100 to 1200 and 1900 to 2000. Last time we had those, they were dropping grand black stones, which was 
very popular. I'm assuming they might drop some better items, some updated rewards from that bad boy. I'm super excited to hop in there and check it out. They added that Temple of Sun login event. Now, I already went over the event. This is something slightly different. They're just giving you rewards every day when you log in. These are sellable items that you can sell to vendor. Nothing more, nothing less. You could probably save them, put them in your inventory in case they were required for an event or a collection down the road. We got Beat the Summer Heat Plaque Black Spirit Bingo. This is one of the better ones out there. You just got to complete the tasks at the bottom and then you can play bingo. Similar to the other bingo ones we got, it's going to give you the rewards on the left. So five grand Blackstone Sacks, 800 Ancient Coins, 5,000 Magical Essence, etc. On the right, you can see after you complete three rows, you're going to get Black Spirit Mini Pool, which you can add to your camp. Not 100% we're sure what that does. We're going to have to find out. This is great for me. Obtain a mystical grade relic upon use. I only have one. I'm still struggling to get my second mystical relic, and they're giving me one right there. They're also going to give you a red light stone after completing 12 of those. So that is the bingo event. Heroines special mission. This is for completing the Tower of Trials. So if you complete it twice, you're going to get two of the Grand Blackstone Fortune Sacks. Once you complete three, you're going to get three. And once you complete five, you get five. That's the events as far as some of the goodies that we got. So we did get the... Shaka 2 Abyssal Raid Up. Now I already rolled, oh, like 75,000 coins so far on this. I didn't get an orange drop in the 75,000 coins. Uh, I will continue to roll my 440,000 later and see if I have any luck. I'll try to record that. They did also add the accessory resonance. So if you go to resonances and go to accessory and then go to grade bonus at the bottom down here. You can see that they added abyssal accessories. So if we're having two or more, four or more, or five or more, it's going to add CP. So if you had two or more red accessories, it's going to add a total of 11 more CP. And then up from there is quite a big jump. So four is another 25 for AP and then 28 for DP. So a decent amount of combat power there. And then so on for ninth. As far as tower trials, they have that event going on. And as you see, the experience is a rate up on the experience. They also added floor 60 and they made it so you can take five people in there. So you can add one more as well. I'm not sure exactly how far I can get. I was able to get to like level 41, 42 before I was working on my alt characters. They didn't bring us Pog, unfortunately, but that just gives us an extra two weeks to work on our alt characters to get them up there. And this update to Tower Trials will help us do that. Let's take a peek at the cash shop. So they gave us that Ethereum uh, outfit chest, as you saw right there. The two new items is the Pearl Plus Crystal Chest right there on the left, and then the Pearl Plus Crystal Chest 2 on the right for 10 and 30 bucks, like I thought. They do have right here the weekly purchase limit. You can purchase three per week, Mystical Crystal Chest times five, and then a bonus Mystical to Crystal, or Mystical to Abyssal Crystal Chest upon a third use. So every use you get five of the orange crystals, after on the third use, you get the five orange crystals plus a mystical to crystal abyssal chest. I don't think it's worth it because it's only a chance. I can guarantee you, you're probably going to still get an orange crystal. I got a decent amount of orange crystals at the moment, so I'm not going to waste my 500 black pearls on that. They also added the 900 regular pearls for mystical crystal package two over there. And then if you go to miscellaneous and you go to enchantment. You can actually see that you can, for 500 black pearls, you can buy 5,000 residue, and 500 black pearls, you can buy 5,000 or 3,000 residue. So what, they've named them both residue. What the, okay, so you can see it actually at the bottom there. The other ones are called essence. This one's called residue. It's fine, whatever. Anyways, the better, I mean, so magical residue, the one, the residue is the one at the top, the bottom is essence. So the residue for 500 black pearls is definitely not worth it, a thousand percent not worth it because you can get 3,000 residue easily. Go buy some stuff from, for silver from the market. You're going to get way more than 3,000 residue. The 5,000 essence is a much better deal, especially since a lot of people don't have all of their accessories enchanted. So if you were going to do one, it would be that option in there. Uh, I'm probably still not going to do it. I'll wait until they give us a hot deal with a lot more magical essence attached to it. There's not too much this week. That covers everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you guys know the deal. Hit the like and drop a comment down below. It's not the best of updates. A lot of people were hoping for Pog, Haddam, 
red relics, uh, accessories in the shock it too. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, new classes. There's a lot of stuff that they could have added and uh, they, they, they just gave us a very, very small update. A lot of people get excited for these updates and this wasn't one that when you woke up for, you were that excited for. Thank you guys as always. And with that being said, I will see you next time.